Hello, welcome. It's time for Sunday Kids. Uh, we're going to be singing some songs. We're going to have a Bible story, and we're going to be thinking uh, about about God, and about Jesus, and about His goodness to us. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to sing. We're going to sing wide, wide as the ocean. What a brilliant, brilliant song. Uh, um, we need to be doing actions, of course. Uh, so wide, wide as the ocean. Be on our feet, standing up, here we go. Great, great singing, and it's a it's a brilliant, brilliant song about how uh, no matter how high you go, how low you go, how wide, how far away, God's love is always bigger than that. It's bigger, it's bigger. Now we've got a, a new song to sing uh, this uh, this morning. Shine bright, dazzle, dazzle. This is a really super song. Um, so uh, we sang this at Tots on Wednesday. So hopefully uh, some people might know it, and we're going to sing it again now. Uh, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle, shine bright. So if I sing it through once, uh, and then I'll tell you about some actions and bits and pieces. So it goes like this. Shine bright, dazzle, dazzle, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle. The light of Jesus is shining bright, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle. The light of Jesus is shining bright, is light. Lovely, lovely, easy song, really nice song. So, when it says dazzle, and, and think about lights, but thinking of sort of bright lights and stars and stuff in the darkness, that's the thing. God's love, Jesus' love, is like a bright light in a dark place. So, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle. The light of Jesus is shining bright, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle. The light of Jesus is shining bright, his life of love, his life of light shines clear and bright in the darkest night. Okay, you've got it, you've got it. Easy stuff, easy stuff, isn't it? So let's sing it together. And uh, don't forget, dazzle, dazzle. There we go. Shine bright, dazzle, dazzle, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle. The light of Jesus is shining bright, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle, shine bright, dazzle, dazzle. The light of Jesus is shining bright, is light. singing there. Now it's uh, time for us to come to our, our, our Bible story. Uh, you remember the, how these Bible stories work, There's the, the hand drawing and different things. You can download those pictures. So we're going to have a Bible story this morning and the pictures that you're about to see getting drawn, you can go onto the website and download them, print them off and colour them in. And if you do that, well, and then send them in to us, we can actually show some of those uh, pictures to everybody else. So here's some pictures from last week when Jesus was feeding 5,000 people from just, what do you remember? I wonder if you remember, five loaves of bread and two fish. So as you look down into, into that corner there, 
you see a picture of Jesus with a little basket of five loaves of bread and two fish. Uh, and that picture is actually going to get a bit of a, uh, a little bit of an appearance in today's story as well. OK, so uh, let's take today's story. This is a brilliant, brilliant one. Immediately after feeding the 5,000 men, Jesus told his friends to get back into the boat and go across the lake. Then he sent everyone else home. After telling everyone goodbye, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Late that night, his friends were in their boat in the middle of the lake, and Jesus was alone on land. He saw that they were in serious trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came towards them, walking on the water. He was going to go past them, but when they saw him walking on the water, they cried out in terror, thinking he was a ghost. They were all terrified when they saw him. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Then he climbed into the boat and the wind stopped. They were totally amazed for they still didn't understand about the miracle of the loaves. Their hearts were too hard to take it in. How about that? Did you spot last week's story coming in right at the end there? That was a funny one, wasn't it? What a funny little story. So amazing to think that Jesus went out uh, and walked on the water. So all his friends were out there in the middle of the sea uh, and he walked on water and he went to, to help them. Now, don't try this at home. You, I can't walk on water. You can't walk on water. But Jesus could. Jesus could do the things that, well, only God can do. We've seen that so many times in the Bible. So um, here he is doing something else that only really God can do. And he walked on the water to, to help his friends. But his friends, well, they were absolutely terrified. They thought he was a ghost. They couldn't believe it. Because it was hard to believe, but there it was. It was happening right in front of them. And then it says at the end, the reason that they found it so hard to believe is because they didn't really understand about Jesus feeding the 5,000 people with, uh, with just five loaves uh, and two fish. And if they'd understood that, then they wouldn't have been so surprised about Jesus walking on water. What, what, what does that mean? Well, it turns out that, that what that really means is when you think about Jesus feeding the 5,000 people, it shows what a great king Jesus is, what a great leader he is. And he's much better than, uh, than Herod and all the other kind of nasty bad kings. Uh, Jesus is a good king because, 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 because he is good. God who came to lead and to save his people for us. So when we say that Jesus is king, we're saying that he's the best, best king. And we wouldn't be surprised that he can walk on water because, well, he's God. And we wouldn't be surprised that he would then come out in a storm to help us because he cares for us. But because they didn't understand any of that, they just thought, oh, it's a ghost. But we know better, don't we? We know that Jesus is God and we know that he will come to save and to help us. So when we're struggling and we're in trouble, Jesus will come and help us and save us. Now, I wasn't going to sing this this week, but if Jesus is in a boat, we have to sing Jesus in a boat, don't we? So we're going to sing that now. And uh, let's see if we can get it right this week. I haven't got it right once. Each week we've been singing this, so... Uh, Let's give it a go and see how we get on. With Jesus in the boat, we can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm, smile at the storm. With Jesus in the boat, we can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home, sailing, sailing. Smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Now, of course, we have to start missing out some words, don't we? Because that's what makes this song so much fun. 
So what should we miss out? Let's miss out. Um, let's miss out boat and storm and, and smile. Let's let's go for it. Let's miss out boat, storm, and smile. With Jesus in the weekend. the Yorkshire version again. Let's miss out the word the. So put those words back in and uh, we'll say miss out the word the because it's just funny. It sounds funny. And sailing. Okay so just the and sailing. Uh, oh, let's make it interesting as well. Let's miss out the word smile. Oh I'm going to regret that. So smile, the and sailing. With Jesus in the weekend. <laughs> I got it wrong, didn't I? Here we go. With Jesus in the weekend. At storm. At storm. At the storm. With Jesus. Oh, I'm useless. Useless. I can't do it at all. Let's put all the words back in. With Jesus in the bow, we can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. that at home yourself that that would be quite a good fun thing to do right now we've been thinking about um the, the bible as well in in a few last few weeks and how how there are uh, lots of different books in the bible how there's the old testament and the new testament and we've been thinking about uh, th the way things work in the new testament do you remember the first four books were matthew mark luke and John, very good. So you remember those, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And then we th uh, and they teach us about Jesus, about uh, when he was born and the things he did when he was a grown-up and, and how people killed him and put him on a cross, but he came back to life. They buried him and he came back to life. It's amazing. And then we came to Acts, the book of Acts, and how uh, that's how Jesus, uh, when he came back to life, how he went back up to heaven, alive. And that's where he is now. That's where he is. Uh, so that's really cool. And then how God, how Jesus sent the, the Holy Spirit into the world and how his people, his friends, well, they just went everywhere telling him about Jesus. And, and so uh, churches uh, appeared all over the place. And, and that's how we're here today. That good news of Jesus still goes on. And he's still in heaven and he still sends the Holy Spirit to his people. And then we have this long list of all the other bits of the New Testament. There were all these, uh, all these letters that we thought about last week. So let's, let's see that, that list again. Um, yeah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and Acts. And then that great big long list of letters. And then at the end, there's this the weirdest book of all, Revelation. Uh, and it's quite a complicated book and lots of grown-ups really, really struggle with it. So that's okay. Um, but the thing that it really has to teach us is that if you're a Christian, then whatever happens in the world, and thinking about coronavirus and all sorts of things, all the bad things, whatever happens, if you're a Christian, you're safe in Jesus. Uh, and... Uh, and you you will always know that one day you'll go to be with him. Whatever happens in this world, you'll go to be with him, and he will keep you safe. That's good news. Uh, so the second thing that we're to know is that we're to keep on telling people about Jesus, and that's what we're doing here, isn't it? It's, uh, we, we like to tell people about Jesus because he is such good news. Uh, and but then it also tells us that the devil's against Jesus, which means the devil's going to be against Christians. Uh, when we go out and we tell people about Jesus so it's going to be hard it's going to be hard and lots of people won't believe uh, and so the fourth thing is to keep going and in terms of the, the book of Revelation the big message is really keep going if you're a Christian keep going and yeah times will be hard and the world is 
is upsetting and there are bad things around uh, but we're to keep going keep going so that's the message of of the bible in the new testament we're going to pray and then we'll sing one more song uh, before we finish so let's uh, let's have our hands together our eyes closed and let's pray to god dear god we thank you for uh, your goodness to us we thank you that you are uh, good to us in in so many ways we thank you especially for jesus and sometimes we struggle and sometimes we need help we thank you that jesus went out to his disciples on the sea we thank you that he comes to us in our time of trouble and our time of need as well we thank you for the book of revelation that we can know that whatever goes on in the world if we're a christian we're safe in jesus and even though the devil himself will work against jesus and against his people against christians uh, we're to keep telling people about Jesus, knowing that one day um, Jesus will uh, will come back and take his people to be with him forever. So we thank you for the Bible. We thank you that we can find out about you. Lord, we pray too then for this world. We know that there are so many bad things going on and we pray uh, as we see uh, violence in, in, in America and uh, in different parts of our own country, we pray, Lord, that you would uh, stop these things and help people to know Jesus and to know peace. And we pray for our, our families. We pray for the doctors and nurses who are working so hard to keep us safe. And we ask, Lord, please have mercy. And this whole coronavirus thing would go away and that we would be able to get back together again, back to church to worship you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, uh, Jesus' love is very wonderful, uh, our, our last song to sing. So we want to be uh, uh, doing some actions up on our feet again. Uh, Jesus' love is very wonderful. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. Uh, so wide, you can't even cross the sea to get away from it, because he'll come and uh, he'll rescue. So, uh, let's sing our last song together. Jesus' love is very wonderful. today you can always watch this again and sing the songs again see if you can do better with uh, G uh, Jesus in the boat um, and we will see you next week don't forget to download the pictures color them in uh, and uh, and send them into us some way you can scan them and send photos and do all sorts of stuff that'd be really cool wouldn't it all right we'll see you next week bye for now